Hi, I have a question for Jeff. Um, the elephant uh, situation you were discussing, <laughs> the fact that the two streams of research have contradictory findings and don't seem to be synthesized, do you think part of that could be because of the review process? Um, we, we can't get papers published that don't reject the null? Um, I, I think there's some of that, but I'm going to let Kathy uh, deal with some of those questions based in, in her talk. I don't want to start picking on editors. Um, okay, um, and and I and I think the, the the real point I was was trying to make was not so much about the the culture and how this has come about, and why we we might not be able to get out of it. Um, I, I'm just saying, it's not even a null hypothesis notion that I'm talking about here. It's that we we are fundamentally assuming one thing in one literature that goes contrary to what is the popular or conventional belief in another literature, which when we put it into an empirical design and run test, leads to an interpretation of the evidence that flips, you know, depending on which point of view you come across, um, you come to the, to the table with. So um, I want to sort of stay away from this, the whole research uh, culture idea as it relates to edit editors and, and what we do, you know, to, to get papers published. And I'd like to think more about what these conferences can do uh, to sort of maybe knock down some of the walls between literature so that, you know, the editors will get the product of what we do as opposed to us trying to change the culture from the top. Other questioners? I'm, I'm Krishna Kumar from George Washington University. Uh, my question is, uh, uh, even the finance literature seems to be struggling uh, with uh, what drives risk. And there, is, there seems to be uh, not a whole lot of discussion in the financial analysis uh, uh, area also about what accounting can do to measure risk. So would uh, any of you folks uh, care to comment on uh, what we could do uh, what we could do in terms of research. Uh, I, I can agree with you. I mean, it's one of the big disappointments in finance that uh, getting with big asset pricing is, what, 50 years old. We don't know what the cost of capital is. Um, uh, when we put our evaluation model, it's there. Um, there's a research question, surely. What accountants, what accountants can bring to that? How do you think about it? Are they thinking about it in the, right, in, in the correct way? Um, it's a, a way open question. Why I teach is, uh, tend to teach is, is finesse it, reverse engineering. Okay? Do you want to buy at this price? Well, I'm not sure whether the cost of capital is 11% or 12%, but it's a firm that's probably got a higher cost of capital. Uh, it's an airline, and it's very different from this low risk first here. Let me pool those firms with, in that, what I see as a high risk category. I don't know what the number is. And let me screen based on reverse engineering within that group that I can tell them, how, here's, a, here's a way to finesse it. Um, there's other ways of finesse with discounting risk-free rates, margin of safety notion, notions also. This issue of risk is particularly critical in platforms like that AFG platform that I tried to show you a moment ago. Uh, because it's being applied in real time across a large population of firms. And um, both Applied Finance Group and, and Holt, which are the two main uh, providers of these kinds of platforms today, have an unusual way of, of solving that problem. They do deliver to the uh, client cost of capital estimates, but they are uh, described in their marketing literature as market-derived costs of capital, and what they're trying to do is use a cost of capital estimate that calibrates across the population of firms that value estimate with price so that the average firm in that universe will appear to be correctly priced. And consequently, what, um, what clients look for are firms on either side of that average. Now, we can argue whether that's a reasonable approach. 
One of the things it does is absorb other kinds of errors in the system. Uh, but it's obviously not good if your concern as a client is whether the entire market is over or undervalued. It's never going to track that. They just have a very different way of thinking about this problem of risk. Other questions? We hear that the regulators are moving into mark-to-market -market accounting. How is that going to affect um, FSA and research, of course, on it? That's for you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like real accounting. Well, um, <clears throat> if you're talking about FSA from an equity valuation point of view, I mean, it's the same story in the accounting. You've got, to, you've got to look at the quality of the accounting, right? And uh, um, fair value accounting is a train coming down the road. Uh, it could be the train wreck coming down the road too. Um, so, um, so no, we haven't. That's something we haven't sorted out. That's one of the accounting issues. Hey, for equity valuation, do you really want the realization record recognition principles and matching as a reasonable forecasting? Or what do you want to get the balance sheet right? The idea of fair value accounting, of course, in principle, is you get the balance sheet right. You're done. There's no FSA. Like a hedge fund, you market to market, and you sit there wondering what they're, they're doing when they're fair valuing, but you're done. You trade on the net asset value. There's no FSA. So the idea is to take, F take FSA away, except, of course, you've got these fair values, um, and uh, that can be concerned. One of the other issues, of course, is when, we, when, when the other fundamentalists said when you, when you do equity valuation, you've got to make sure that you try to, try to get, a, get a sense of value without reference to price. For the fair value of mark-to-market -market accounting, we're in danger of bringing prices into the financial statements, like we do with pension accounting, like we, we bring bubble prices in, in our mark-to-market -market of equities.